guys, it's Mia here, and welcome to another vlog style video. And I wanted to do this one because I think I have a problem. And that problem is, I think that I am a little obsessed with a Flareon. And I decided since it was fall, and since Flareon is kind of fall colored, I would show you my strictly Flareon con collection of everything that I have based on Flareon. So let me flip the camera around and get started showing you my collection. All right, we're gonna do this in order first from the no most normal to the not so normal. So first, of course, I have a Flareon playing card and I thought I had more than one, but it turns out I didn't. I must have traded away mine and I actually have Flareon in my team and then I have Flareon as a coloring page, which I recently printed out for something else, but it didn't end up working out. So I'm just going to keep it to color it. So those are the two most normal so far. And then I have a Flareon plushie. Now, I can't remember if this was a gift or if I bought it myself. I think it was a birthday present. Or Christmas present one of the two but I can't honestly remember because I've had it for years and then I have a drawing that someone made me for Christmas it's a little cute Flareon with Merry Christmas on it and so there's that one and then my friend thought it was funny to pick on me because I really like Naruto from the anime Naruto and Flareon is a, basically my spirit animal, even if it's not real, but they decided to draw me with Naruto holding my Flareon, and they always call me Kitty because I like black and white, and I love cats, and for some reason they were obsessed with calling me a cat, so they drew me as a cat with Naruto with his arm around me holding my Flareon. So those are two drawings that friends made me, a plushie, a card, and a coloring printout. And then I drew this long ago, and this was with me using stencils and a reference, even though I didn't really need one because I'm, a, well, again, obsessed with Flareon. So I drew this one. Then, I have been trying to practice drawing without looking at stuff, so I drew this one, but I ended up messing up on the coloring. I didn't like it with the marker, so I ended up tracing the drawing and recoloring it with colored pencils. And then, there's this one, which was my first attempt at drawing without looking at anything. And I know, it's absolutely terrible, so don't hate on me. This was one of my first times drawing without looking at stuff. So then, I don't know why I wanted to do this one. Well, I kind of have an idea why, because I'm, I really like Miraculous Ladybug, even though it's kind of for littler kids. But I thought it'd be cool to draw Flareon as a Kwame. So that's what I did. And I drew its, uh, like, special powered piece of jewelry, and it's a necklace, and it looks gray when it's not activated, and looks like orange and yellow when it is. Then, I really like making jewelry, that's one of my hobbies, so I made a Flareon necklace, and it's like... It's one of those hollow backs, and you take gla a, like glass or plastic bubble and put a picture under it and glue it on. So that's how I made that one. Then I was in graphic arts in school, so I made me a little Flareon pin. It's so cute, I like the picture. It bent around more than I thought it was going to, so it kind of has no legs and the tail is cut off, but I still really like it. 
Then I made an actual big button of Flareon. This one has its name on it. Again, cut off. But it still looks cool and I really like it. And then we had to do embroidering when I was in graphic arts. So I decided to go with a Flareon. And I actually had two Flareon shirts that I made. But the first one was on purple and got really messed up because the shirt was not put tight enough into the embosser. But yeah, there's a Flareon shirt. I like it better gray anyway. Purple did not go with Flareon. And then I got this bag, which technically has all of the Evolutions on it, but it still has Flareon on it. This is really cute, and it's a really floppy bag. And then my grandma, one year for my birthday, decided to make me a Flareon birthday card. And I know you're looking at it like, how is that a Flareon card? But if you pop it open and turn it around, if it'll work because it's been folded up so long, it's a Flareon. <laughs> so that's cool. My grandma's always been crafty when it comes to cards, so that's what she did. And then it folds up nicely to fit into an envelope. And then I just finished this uh, the day before yesterday and I started on the background and I was originally going to make it an Eevee and a Flareon but I ended up not liking how it looked with the Eevee because they were too different looking. So I did the background, couldn't finish because I was helping my cousins with their paintings and then ended up finishing it yesterday, and this is what it turned out to be. It's a painting of a Flareon. So, there's more. I also have Flareon as my lock screen. She is on one of my profiles as my, my uh, cover photo. She's on a bunch of different stories that I've written and so she plays a character in them. She's in one of my skits that I made for my YouTube channel that you guys can watch in my skits playlist. They're not the best but I'm working with cheap equipment right now and that's why I haven't been able to work on my skits because my equipment's starting to die on me so I haven't been able to make them. Hopefully soon I will get an actual PC and be able to work on them better, but I don't know. Fingers crossed, though. And then I have plenty of photos of her in my gallery. And yeah, that is it. A little obsessed with Flareon. And if you're interested in what I name the Flareon, if it's a girl, Flara, if it's a boy, I don't know. I just call it Flareon if it's a boy. But, alright, that's it. You get to see my weird Flareon obsession. Since it was fall and she's fall colored, I figured we'd talk about it. What's your guys' favorite Pokemon? Do you think I'm a little obsessed or do you think it's normal? Let me know in the comments below. So, hope to see you next time. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye!